ever played the campaign. Of all the hours of multiplayer I've played, I've never touched the campaign. Let's see what this is all about. Should be great. Likes laws, nobody. <laughs> Necessary evil. My ape brain couldn't read that. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. That Davy rest, you guys right? sound like you've been smoking you know, tobacco straight. Old man in town. Bandit, <clears ball. throat> Come on. Like Come on! just down yeah. the hatch 24-7, chain smoking that like it's nothing. <laughs> Come on, Dutch. Like Jesus, dude. Drink some water instead of whiskey. Double U does not stand for whiskey. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of That food. is a lot of blood. Davy's dead. Yep. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. <coughs> Listen. 
Listen to me, Ollie, for a moment. I got the tuberculosis. Now we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Uh, we need you strong. OK. Uh, Just hold the A button. All right. Do Let's nothing. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. This it's isn't a trail. This like is this just. Oh, it's just snow. It's just snow. What'd you find out there in the Great West? Oh, I found some fucking snow. Here. I thought the West was supposed to be desert. Nah, it's just snow. Can't believe we lost Davy too. Snow and mountains. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. <coughs> hey, I think Bro's freezing his fucking past. balls off and his nips are harder than goddamn diamonds right now. And you're just like, oh, let's stay strong. <coughs> you up ahead. I hope Who's it's a there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er. <laughs> Was yeah. damn that is <clears throat> we don't know holy shit that is too soon dude business. that is too fucking soon Sure about this, Mac? 
Parker. Mr. Morgan. I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire waiting for daddy to put food on the table. Said it before. Yep. Okay. Let's uh, get a hold of that horse, Morgan. Let's no. keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Oh. Okay. Let's shoot people. Let's head down there. We get to go shooty shooty looty looty on them, or what the fuck is happening? Oh shit, I haven't decided. Do I play as a good honor person or a bad honor? That's actually a really good question. Because I could do both. I do not care. Could not give a shit. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. <sighs> you two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates Micah, have you seen yourself left. dutch arthur you take that old shed on the left and stay low both of them have you seen the way you look dutch hello shut up billy excuse me hello oh well, hello friend what you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Are you now? My friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body in the wagon. Oh, I hear you. Just what do I get? I get this piece of shit. Dutch. I think you should go now, buddy. Okay, my turn. Negotiations have broken down. We must have resorted to violence. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Dutch, this sounds like a terrible fucking idea. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Bread. Grab as many supplies as you can. I know that's beef. We need the essentials: food, medicine, whiskey. Don't you mean water? You, your throats are drier than fucking menopause's bullshit. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. But where's the fun in that? Look at that man. See? And then we came in here and ruined his life. Just like that. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Get out over here. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one Vegetables. on Vegetables. 
Vegetables. I don't like vegetables. I fucking hate vegetables. Get your strength up for the ride back. Are you just dunk. <laughs> You're just gonna dunk it, okay? Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. Biscuits. Beds. I can almost imagine myself falling off and smashing my head off the fucking. Not banister, but support. Support beams. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Can't we just, like, Arthur, I don't know, loot these bodies? In that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. Are they bare chested in this weather? They're yeah. fucking stupid. Run, 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 run. Uh oh. This is gonna be. This is a terrible idea. Who's coming flying out and hitting me? There it is. Well, he did start it. Dodge. Fuck you. Give him the wombo combo. Beat his ass. Thank you, little bastard. Should I kill him? Yes. No. Not yet. Oh, Find I wanted to kill him. Here. And where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Knock his teeth down his throat. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. Ah, yeah, you do. Bullshit. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Okay. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know something. Tell me. Just let me go. Come on. Tell me. Tell me! I, I won't breathe a word to no one. No. Fuck you. You made me lose my gun, you piece of shit. And my hat! Man's got no respect for my hat. At the horse. Yeah, okay, boy. At the horse. Come my horse. Fuck yeah. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Uh, 
I'm I'm just gonna make a Batman villain arc. Oh, this should be good. Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them or Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you Oh, you fool! Michael! Miss. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. God damn it, Micah. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. Then Bob has been me. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. No shit. Maybe because that place is about to Come collapse. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. He ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... We're 20 minutes in. He already two me. people have fucking, like, multiple people. A house has been completely destroyed. There's been a gunfight. I'm not even in the West yet. I'm still stuck up in the Rockies, apparently. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, shoot him. Dutch is back. Shoot, shoot Dutch. No, 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 no. Shoot Dutch. Save me the trouble. Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this... Poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler... I swear to God, it's gonna be it's whiskey. It's gonna be okay. You're safe now. It's they gonna be whiskey. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of- Cause I'm not a fucking animal, dumbass. I'm <laughs> not an animal who scares the shit out of people. Yes. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... The situation were reversed, and he 
Look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know. What was the problem with just staying together? Why did you just fucking throw them everywhere? Bodies are flying everywhere. You wouldn't leave. Not like that. Wouldn't be the first time. I want to get into a shootout. Let's yep. hope it is. Seems somebody left. Recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. Can we shoot him? There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! Two hours ago, most. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, I to know Drisco, I need to shoot somebody. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. That's not good. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Fucking path did you take? Good God, Baby man. Got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Mashing my A button, and it does not want to go forward. I hope this is the right way, because there's no more tracks. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on. Fuck, are we? Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot okay. of fresh snow here. This, Javier, and we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Probably gonna be a hint hint. Come on, hint. Come on, hey, look! Over there! You see that? Oh, that can't be good. if he can hear us. Oh, I heard that. Come on. Up there. Oh, you look you could see my feet twitching. Pistol or a shotgun pistol? You have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows pistol. what's up ahead? Although I'm probably gonna end up fighting a fucking bear. I'm gonna 
fucking give me anything. I have to get the shotgun. I don't want the shotgun. I don't want the shotgun. Colt 45 is all you fucking need. You telling me to get a 12 gauge? Good God, you move slow. Look at him fucking. Down this way. Can I run? Can I run? Can I run? Please let me run. Bastard. From this way. Okay. Careful here. We're at a fucking like seventy degree angle. Drops down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery. Be careful. Shit, it's slippery. Like, you guys are climbing up a fucking 80 degree angle. You can crouch in this game? Okay. Good now. Watch your step. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Man, just devoured that salted beef. Yep, here. Here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. He at least has like leg wraps. We're gonna find this man, he's gonna be fucking dead. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Is that whiskey? Here. Yeah, yeah, that? pass me some of that. Yeah. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? John, you there? It's a skinwalker. <laughs> it's a skinwalker. We gotta kill it. Most. Over here. Down on the ledge. That's John. We're coming. Down here. He's down here. Hey! All right. Hot down, Marston. <laughs> Quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Damn. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. Damn, just fucking heave-ho. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told <laughs> that you weren't the right man. For Welcome this. to the West, bitch. Hopefully, dude, I look like the grim fucking reaper right now. Uh oh. See that on the ridge? I'll distract him while we get to the horse. Go. Throw him off. 
That's why I want the pistol. Where are you bastards coming from? You're goddamn right, well done. Look at me go, motherfucker. Can I scan him? You guys are gonna, you're gonna kick me. Don't kick me. Please don't kick me. That's not reassuring. Not yet. No, he went from zero to a hundred real quick. Okay. Yes, what should I say? Oh yeah. going. Beaten to death and then brought back to life through ahead, neck group, whatever the fuck it's called. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse! Can we get some help here? Everyone in the town's dead. All right, open fire. Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ah, you oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. <laughs> Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> oh, Germans. I have literally nothing against Germans. I, I'm hard to remember myself, it just, anytime somebody's like, oh, I'm, I'm, like, they sound German, I'm just like, ugh, German. been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting it is here pink in some outside of my house. town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? 
shoot Dutch. I got crackers. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. He has been shot at for Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. So now we wait a bit. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. We get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. A pair of fucking sunglasses for this place. Good God. Get yourself on fire, Arthur. You boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from Ooh. you, of course. Shut up, Mike. Bourbon. I've never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <What the party? laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard! You wanna sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just you're doubting like a me. Bear coat, dude. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business. Long ago, they were talking Gun about safety. trains and detonators. Here, Comb always had good information come on and you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place there are o'driscoll's about yeah! finally we get to shoot some people I'm going to lasso and stab one of them. He said, follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this or their planet. Quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. So let's pick you up the pace, people. Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but because they're stupid. The right okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. 
You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Let's go shoot out. Why are we always going so fucking slow? All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. I need some better guns, Dutch. I don't even have a pistol. Oh, so you guys have just binoculars, just chilling. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> what are we supposed to be looking at? Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. He's getting slapped the shit out of him. You leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Guess we're just gonna start shooting people. That's what I wanted. Don't Give forget to rifle. grab that rifle from your horse. Yeah, you didn't give me shit. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. Sure thing. Which one's my horse? There it is. Good. Come on, let's go. circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our Do you want the actual right answer? Now, yes. Our supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Cone, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Dutch, you should know I'm him. I am the main character. Just having dead eye. I don't know when I'm gonna get it. Oh, watch out. This bit steep. No shit. Let me get this straight. They could seriously couldn't hear the gunfire. Hey, 
Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. Gotta light them the fuck up. Okay, let's get in cover. Ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. We have to move on this right now. I'll go first. Hey, buddy. Platinum pocket watch. Oh. Heads up, boys. We got more coming in from the forest. But we still got time to loot, though. Hey, asshole. I wasn't done. Hey, let's go. I get dead eye. Ah, 
out. His body's loot. I need my money. I got four whole dollars. Four whole dollars. There's a big rig trying to move up the fucking hill. We don't have time to mess around. Yeah, we do. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Crackers, vegetables, cigars. What have we got here? Oh, hey. Bet you it'll be under the big red thing labeled dynamite. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. I don't know who the fuck that is. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. I don't know if I can break my own morals and kill civilians. You know... He'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. No idea where the fuck we're going. That's stupid. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? <laughs> yeah. Give him the mech. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Could be useful. Okay. Alive. Yeah. It would be a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. Start my villain arc. Give me your shithead. Kieran, Kieran what? 
Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you good answer. Do That's a really good answer. Some fan you ain't gonna like. That's also so a really good answer. You to save your breath for screaming. No, please. <laughs> that was. I mean, he told it to him straight. That's just rude. <laughs> Told you not to talk, dumbass. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Come here, sweetheart. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Does need shooting? Save, fellas. Is need saving and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Well, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna keep freezing your ass off? Or are you gonna go inside? Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. Bro, his when one we ran away from Blackwater. I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. 
You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <sighs> Damn, he's persistent. He's got a way with words. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. No, but he is All old right. as a motherfucker. Let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Okay, you're gonna lead the way. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know. Oh, what the bodies. On that boat. <laughs> oh. Well, Javier told me a bit. But it sure weren't good. Damn, look at this camera work. Money shot. Bonding. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Let's look down this way. Ooh, that sounds bright. I'm gonna need a pair of sunglasses. Is my the TV all the way down in brightness? That's good. Yeah, it is. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. <clears throat> Has a deer been here and recently? How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't... Leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Eagle Eye, let's go. We are. Him? Are you ready with that bow? 
Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Keep good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Take the shot. What do you mean, don't overdo it? Study it. Perfect. This might be our only chance for a good meal. Good shot. Now let's try for another. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine. Are you sure about that? Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Bruh, there we go. Charles, let's go. Let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Mm. Seems to me we should be putting those. our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Yeah. Roll. Roll to John Cena. Are you sure about that for that in one? His hand ever since we fled Blackwater, we give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up a few more mouths to feed. Let me stay with you. The camp's that way. Wait, is it not that way? No, it is that way. Where the fuck are you taking me? Before? One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? 
You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk. Bear. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. What are you doing? Look out! I didn't want to go this way, you dumb fuck. Now where are you taking me? I knew there was going to be a bear at some point. We just had an encounter with a bear, and your first idea is, let's go two miles an hour up a fucking hill. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Shoot him. Oh, yes. Shoot Dutch. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. 20 years? Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Ha! How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk. I don't know who the fuck these guys are. He loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna get time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for hey. showing me how to use the boat. Oh, I showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, What's up, well. you ungrateful bastard? Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now <laughs> shoot <laughs> Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Moonshine. Hey, sir. It's the oh. only thing. The only thing. <laughs> 
Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest Damn, his one-liners. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> Jail. You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. You told me to dump it on the floor, you dumbass. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> bit of shit tier level a few days. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Okay. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He'd see me now. Or what's left of me. John Marston. Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Dale! Glad your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a oh, he said the thing. Railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Good job, Dutch. Good vantage. Charles, 
You'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take a driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny, out there, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan Bray. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. Damn. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, Bob. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! No fighting. No fucking fighting. No fucking fighting. And then just gunfire. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. Oh. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Ooh, a detonator. Oh. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Bill! Bill! To level this shit up? How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course! Can I help a little? Yeah. Alright. Can I help Go a ahead. little? We'll set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. You know which one's positive and which one's negative? Okay, this is good. Nope. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Steal your horse. I have the ass What's end. going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. 
Yeah, Arthur's out of shape. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. the train? Should we? We're getting shot at. That was somebody important.
train. You got any ammo? You got any ammo? He's got a pack of cigarettes. Wait, you, you got any ammo? I want to play the piano. Even though he doesn't know how to do anything. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door. <clears throat> now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Light the fuses, bitches. Unless you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. A lot. All right, come on. Good walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> kill some people finally. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen. Everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should Pull be up the safe. As cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Well, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Flip that letter over. Come on. Get in there. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. Oh. A lot of sugar. 
Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> this is a ah. big ass safe. <laughs> What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. I have a better okay. idea. Get on the train, quick! Hold it. Not you. Shouldn't you run away? Jesus! Just isn't your day, is it? You cut me loose! My God! Or what? What are you gonna do? He was already there when I got here. Whoa, man. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Which is a lot.
Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I could go for a whiskey. Let me guess, a wheel's gonna break and we have to do some stupid fucking action. Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Ah. Ah. do it. Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well... Get in. I'll tell you. This should be good. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? You we don't. Spotted that just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy, don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. That's rude. So what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? It's a long story. Yeah. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. now how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? Not very. It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. Die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Yep. Can we pack that? Is going fucking nuts. There you are, brother. Head in there and follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. This isn't even a road or a path. This is just... go. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, <laughs> we have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have <coughs> all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. Touching his shit. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out Chop around, oh, yeah. be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? He's doing some good this world jobs. has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know. That things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, 
No more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything Let's go. my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. God damn. That was... That was just rude. And that is also how I'm going to end it. seems a little better his eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer I think we all feel a little happier in spite of black water and that whole mess I think Jose <laughs> quite a day let's hope so there's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Smart. 